Now we're going to do a callback. Let's see what a callback is. Isn't that what's next? 29 callback. So instead of returning a func, let's have a function that takes in a function. So here we have callback, passing a func as an argument. Let's look at the examples I've already pre-written. So, just looking at the operators. 0, 1, 43, 40, 39, kind of cool. Slice it int, unfurling that int, passing it into sum. Sum taking a variadic parameter of type int. And then printing out, it's a slice of int now. And ranging and adding it, returning the total. And that gets returned and then printing it. So this will sum up an unlimited number of ints. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure where this is going when we're getting to the callback. I wrote this and I forgot about it. And again, same thing. So we have, so now we're getting to it. Print line all numbers. Sum runs, pass that in, returns the sum, sum of all numbers. And then S2 is even. It takes in sum, takes in the function sum, right? Because sum adds everything up. Now I want a function that adds up even numbers. So let me use that function that adds everything up. I'll pass it in. And I'll pass in this, these values, unfurl them. So here's what even takes in. It takes in a function. That's the signature of the function. It's assigned to the variable f. And then here it takes in variadic parameter values of slice of type int, unlimited number of values of type int. Then we have a slice of int. We're going to range over. We're going to range over all of those ints. We'll get the value. If the value is even, we're going to pin that to our slice. I don't see where I'm using f. Oh, here we go. We're going to pin that to our new slice. And then we're going to call f. We're going to call sum. And we'll unfurl that slice of int that we just appended all those values to. And we'll sum up the even num numbers. That's kind of cool. I could have maybe also just called sum right there. Right? And not passed in f at all. I do need to use f. And f returns an int. So I'll just throw it away. No new variables on left side. Oh, I've already used it. I used it right here, so it doesn't want me to re-declare it with short declaration operator. I think I have to call f. If I don't call f, is it throw? No, that works too. 
So I could have also just called sum directly, but that lets you see passing a function in to another func. And then we have odd numbers, looks like odd numbers. Same thing. And let's look at this one. Same thing, just my lecture prep. So that's not so bad, right? There's more to know about it, but that's like a good starting point.